Good folding bikes aren't cheap, but they work so much better than single hinge designs that it's well worth paying the extra. If you're short on storage space at home or at work, a folding bike might be your best option. Welcome back to our channel, today video we review the 5 best folding bikes that you can get your hand on this year. Roll down to the link in description box below to know more information and latest price updated, thanks. Let's get started with the video. Starting up our list with the best for budget categories is the E-Trends Fly. If you're on a budget, the E-Trends Fly is an excellent option. It was launched about $1,200 but has dropped as low as $940 since then, making it excellent value for any electric bike. The E-Trends Fly doesn't quite flow in the same way though and from some angles looks more like a compendium of components rather than something that's grown organically in the mind of a designer. Of course, much of that is to do with the sacrifices that have had to be made to keep the pricing down. The Fly with its 16-inch steel frame feels quite heavy too, and with the battery in place it is. At 23.5 kg, but folded up it's certainly easy to store with dimensions of 8-6 cm by 33 cm by 63 cm. That removable and lockable power pack is vital, though as this is a single-speed bike, so having the 36-volt 7.5ah lithium-ion battery on board to provide electric assistance is essential, which feeds power to the 250-watt rear hub motor. The Fly is no such though, and can accommodate riders weighing up to 120 kg. The design is actually quite amenable to different shapes and sizes of rider thanks to the adjustable handlebars and saddle. The latter is very good on the posterior by the way, and more than capable of keeping you comfy if you manage to cover the full 19-mile range suggested by the bike's creators. However, the handlebars feel less reassuring as they're essentially a straight metal tube with grips at each end, where on one side you'll find the twist grip power control and battery indicator. On the other side are buttons for the lights and an amusing buzzer-style horn. On the rear of the lower frame a kickstand rounds it out in practical fashion. The design is somewhat odd, and our reviewer commented that it looked less smart and cohesive than other electric bikes, but for such a modest price that's a relatively minor complaint. It's worth noting that it uses V-brakes, which proved effective in our tests, but don't provide the same stopping power as the disc brakes used by the other folding e-bikes in this roundup. Anyway, with its compact, folding appeal the little e-trends fly is ideal for commuting or days out. Adding on the decent assistance you get from the battery and motor combination makes it even more tempting, although the quality of some components suffers as a result of its lower asking price. Next up at the number 4, we have the Mate City, our best option with proofing that a folding e-bike can be genuinely cool. The Mate City is a new revision of Mate Bike's original electric bike, which first launched in 2016. Its powerful 36 volt, 250 watt battery which once charged can do 50 miles and it is great for commuting or nipping about your local area. The 5 level power assist particularly appealing as it flew up hills and got up to a speed of around 20 mile per hour on flatter roads, cutting the commuting time down considerably. The Mate City is a real conversation, with its stylish frame available in a range of subtle and not so subtle paint colors that attracting a lot of admirers. It's solidly built too, with a robust frame that packs down fast and is easily adjusted to suit your height and preferred riding position. A small LCD display on the handlebars displays the battery status, your speed, and the time and distance of your current trip. It's a handy addition that avoids the need to mount your phone on the bike, which is always a little risky if you're prone to forgetfulness and accidentally leave your handset behind. The downside is that the Mate City is seriously weighty, tipping the scale at 22.5 kg with the battery attached. You won't be breezing up and down stairs with it, but if your main reason for choosing a folding e-bike is ease of storage at either end of your journey, it's definitely worth your consideration. Overall, if you're looking for a powerful bike which will get you attention and don't mind investing a little extra, then the Mate City is perfect for you. But it's not a great model for limited storage, or if you were hoping for a light commuter bike. At number 3, the best e-bike with fat tires is the Surface 604 Twist. A true step-through folding e-bike, the Surface 604 Twist features an integrated 48 volt with 14 AH battery that tucks nicely into the downtube and semi-slick 4-inch fat tires that are geared more towards pavement riding. 
Surface 604 is a Canadian company known for making powerful and burly e-bikes, and the bike come with a 500-watt rear hub motor with a full SRAM group set. It also comes as a Class 2 e-bike, but you can easily change it to a Class 3 bike maxed at 25 mile per hour in the setting. While most folding e-bikes are fairly low slung, the twist is a true step-through folder that makes it easy to get on and off the bike. We're also big fans of the semi-slick fat tires, which roll easier on pavement while still giving the bike a more stable and supportive feel. The twist also comes with a torque sensor, which is a nice feature for an e-bike at the roughly $2,000 price point. That torque sensor makes the twist's motor engagement particularly smooth and responsive. It also comes with road-oriented 4-inch fat tires, a feature we really like to see on fat folders. The bikes perform best on pavement, and while they can handle some light off-road use, tires like this make these bikes perform particularly well in their most natural environment. The Surface 604 Twist is a feature-rich fat folding e-bike that'll work well for anyone short on space but still wants to get out for a ride. Number 2. The best value is the Blix Vika Flex. A popular e-bike from Santa Cruz-based firm Blix, the Vika Flex has a distinctly European styling. Based around a 500-watt motor, 48-volt and 12.8 AH battery, the Vika Flex has enough imp to flatten hills and keep you rolling all day. Blix says the Vika Flex was designed with versatility in mind. It's a compact folding bike that, with the right racks, can double as a light-duty utility bike. It comes with a rear pannier style rack, lights, and can be fitted with Blix's modular racking system to increase its storage capacity. We also really like the battery placement on the bike, low and behind the seat too. This helps keep the center of gravity low and the ride stable. The Vega Flex has a throttle and pedal assist up to 20 mile per hour, so that makes this a class 2 e-bike. The styling is smart and looks different from many of the other folding e-bikes on the market. And on the topic of folding, Blix says this model will pack down in less than 20 seconds. It even comes with its own storage bag. For those in the market for a classic design and a folding e-bike that won't empty your wallet, the Blix Vika Flex is a choice that won't let you down. Coming at the end on our list with best overall option, we have the My Rider 1 folding bike. The My Rider 1 is a very impressive folding e-bike that packs down in under a minute and it's one of the lightest models around with remarkably affordable. It's extremely comfortable to ride as well, and when we tested it, we were surprised at just how solid its magnesium alloy frame felt. There are no compromises, it doesn't feel like a folding bike at all. The My Rider 1 is designed with practicality firmly in mind and really stands out as a good choice for regular riders. It's quick and easy to fold, with the handlebar stem, seat post and frame all easily unlocked by robust feeling levers. The pedals can be pressed inward and folded up as well, and you can easily have the entire bike folded down in seconds with a little practice. When folded, the My Rider 1's magnesium alloy frame is held together securely via magnets on the front and rear wheel hubs. It also comes with a sturdy strap that you can clip around it for added security, plus a weatherproof case to keep it dry. A small extra wheel makes it possible to roll along while compacted. The My Rider tips the scales at 17.2 kg, which isn't feather light, but is easy enough to lift up short flights of stairs. If you need to push the bike on a pavement for a stretch of your journey, you can call on a little assistance from the motor to make it easier to wheel along, and a small extra wheel near the crank lets it glide while folded. The bike is controlled via a ride computer attached to the handlebars, which draws its power from the bike's main battery. Holding the central power button turns the bike on, and tapping the up and down arrows allows you to adjust the power assistance level. All these controls are within easy access of your left thumb, so you can keep your eyes and concentration on the traffic. Overall, if you like the idea of commuting by e-bike, but have been put off by their size and price, the My Rider one could be the one to change your mind. It's cleverly engineered, packing down small in seconds, but gives a surprisingly smooth and comfortable ride. It charges fast, and power levels are easily adjusted with an added boost mode and throttle for quick acceleration when you need it. It's a premium experience, carefully engineered, and remarkable value for money.